Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, TimeDB uh, with App Inventor. So here you can see my emulator which I've started up. And the emulator basically is showing these uh, components in the uh, in this simple login form that I've created. So there is a text box for the login, a text box for a name. Uh, the user can then submit the data by clicking on this button. And I've also created uh, two buttons for testing. Uh, purposes. The non-visible components is obviously the TinyDB, a database, and a notifier uh, for uh, providing feedback to the user. Now, before actually going to the blocks and to program the application, I want to give you a, a better idea of how my database is going to look like. And for that reason, I created a an Excel sheet. So, as uh, you might remember, let me show you the blocks. To store values in a database, you need to have both a tag and a certain value to store. So you need to decide what sort of tag are you going to have and what is going to be the values to store. Now, as you can see, I, I have a value of a login and I have a value of a name that I want to associate uh, with a certain user. So for that reason, I decided to actually use for a tag and number which I'm going to increment. So this is going to be my user 1 and this one's going to be my user 2. And for the value, I'm going to use a list in order to uh, add uh, both the login and the name uh, for each user. Now let's see how to do that in App Inventor. So since I'm going to disable this block for now, keep it on the side. Uh, since I want to insert as values in my database a list, I'm going to first get whatever input the user gives me from uh, the text boxes and insert them in a list. For that reason, I'm going to initialize a local variable, which I'm going to name uh, db values as an empty list. Now, uh, the next thing that I need to do, I need to add items to my list, that is uh, called db values, and the item, the first item is going to be the login that the user inserted in the text box. Now, afterwards, I need to add uh, one more item, which is uh, the name that the user inserted in the text box, in the text box uh, name. But uh, let's review the uh, output. Well, as uh, you can see in the emulator, well, if I just uh, add some value right here, well, actually now the code has inserted it, that item into the list, but uh, since I cannot see uh, the result of it, I'm uh, going to um, use the notifier uh, to see what actually has happened. Now, uh, in order to do that, uh, I, <coughs> I need to call the for each item in uh, the list block again the list is going to be a db value so i'm just going to duplicate this block and i'm going to call the notifier which is right here to show to show me what has actually happened so I need to get that item and show the result of uh, my action in the notifier. So if I bring back uh, the emulator now, and I'm going to insert a new value, and click on the button, I can see uh, the result of that uh, action. Now, uh, in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to insert that list now in the database.